not about what you wear, but it's how you wear it. So if you're wearing something that you love and you feel great in it, a lot of things, something that we say a lot internally at Mod Cloth is that, you know, it makes you feel like the best version of yourself. You know, that's gonna show. So I think it's important that you are wearing the clothes and not letting the clothes wear you. So I'm with Susan, who's the co-founder of Mod Cloth, and we get to be here today to look at how she gets inspiration for the clothes that they designed to put on the site. And these are all these amazing vintage clothes and all these beautiful dresses. Which ones do you love? I love this one. I yeah, like this one. Yeah, I'm definitely really drawn to this dress. I think this is probably from, I'd say like the late 50s, early 60s maybe. The color of combo is so, so pretty. This like kind of sketched rose print is really gorgeous. It's not something that you see very often. And I think that this dress would be super flattering. So maybe next summer you could wear this to a wedding. I think this could be one that we would do in maybe a print like this and maybe a solid color. It'd just be kind of really easy to wear. This sort of fit and flare, tighter waist with a flared skirt is something that our customers really love. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're looking for when you're picking out clothes for mod cloth, what types of clothes and what inspires you? You know, when I'm shopping vintage, I'm looking for prints and for colors that really jump out at me. I'm looking for fabrications that feel really special um, and just for really unique details. So a lot of it is a very intuitive process. So it's just like, you know, when you love something. So this was one that I was really drawn to because I think the colors are just so cool. I like that. It's just really, really pretty. I mean, you would definitely be noticed if you wore this dress, you know? <laughs> But what about, what are you looking for when you get dressed every morning? You know, I really get dressed to my mood, so it depends on kind of how I'm feeling that day. And, you know, I, I always look for pieces that flatter my figure and that I feel good in. I love it. I love it. And you mm -hmm. started thrifting in college, but you even loved clothes way before that. Yeah, I mean, I've been in love with vintage probably my whole life. Um, one of my first fashion memories is actually playing dress up in my grandmother's basement. So she worked at a department store in the 60s. She lived in Philadelphia and she had lots and lots of great stuff. She still has great stuff. Um, some of it's been passed on to me, which is very exciting. It's in my closet now. And I love that feeling so of, cute. you know, kind of fashion can sort of change yeah. who you are and it can become this new yes. identity. You look like you should be in a coffee shop in <laughs> France. So in college, you were thrifting through um, all these different stores and acquiring all these different pieces of clothing and then you decided to start Mod Cloth. Yeah, so it was actually, I founded Mod Cloth in the summer between high school and college. So I was 17 at the time, back in 2002. I grew up in South Florida and I had gotten into school in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Carnegie Mellon University. Um, so I basically needed a whole new wardrobe. You know, I didn't have coats or sweaters or scarves or hats or any of those things that you need to live in the Northeast. So I started thrifting and I just could not pass up an amazing deal. Whenever I found an amazing piece of vintage, even if it didn't fit me, I would buy it. My closet got huge um, and my boyfriend at the time, who's now my co-founder, my husband, um, suggested I start a website to sell some of that stuff. And back in 2002, there wasn't Etsy, you know, there was eBay, but it wasn't really a great customer experience. And, you know, it seemed like a fun project. So I taught myself web design and Photoshop that summer and the website was kind of like my summer project. The website officially went live in January of 2003 and we had a sale on our first day. And I really view that moment as my birth as an entrepreneur. I was just totally bit by the bug. And when I was approaching graduation in 2005, 2006, you know, I realized that we had a lot of customers and I realized that I loved doing mod cloth so much. It was like way more rewarding than any sort of traditional desk job would be. So I started doing it full time then.